everybody, it's Anne Marie from Four Honey Bees Cottage, and today I'm talking about our courtly check room. Um, courtly check is obviously the little powerhouse behind Mackenzie Childs, the black and white check. Um, so much so, it's so popular for us that we decided to dedicate a whole room to it. Um, so when I'm going around and I'm saying, okay, what is this room going to be and what is this room going to be? Um, what started for me in this room was that I really wanted the Christmas tree to be um, smack dab in the center of the room. Um, and what inspired me with this Christmas tree was we had done um, a floral class that I had taught with succulents and it was so popular. Everybody really loves the succulents this year that I decided I wanted to do a whole tree out of it. Um, so I frosted some of them, um, sparkled some of them, and mixed it with um, Mackenzie Childs, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Some of the um, just plain crystal balls that are in there and things like that, um, I wanted it to be packed full. I wanted it to feel soft. Um, the succulents are so angular. I wanted to make sure that I really still um, made it feel soft. Um, and feminine in a way um, by adding some of the twill and the tool and um, some of the soft pink berries and things like that. So that was really where I started with this room. Um, then I decided that I wanted to, typically this room is right off the living room in the cottage, but I wanted to move um, my antique, which I love, love, love this um, stove. I, I found it years ago um, when I first bought the store and um, I, it's just one of my favorite things. I just, it's just so stinking cute. So um, I wanted this room to be filled with the courtly check and I wanted the sub theme to be Santa. Um, so this is one of my favorite things of Mackenzie this year. Um, I love his plaid coat and I just, I love the way his size is and it's just so, so charming. So he really inspired the rest of the room. Um, we moved our antique um, black hutch in here and filled it um, with all kinds of things that you would use for baking um, and even some recipe cards from um, Rebecca Proctor um, and so I just wanted this to kind of feel like something that I would have in my kitchen at home. Um, we used the tartan red up here um, kind of tying them into the Santa Claus and all of the um, things that have become so popular with Mackenzie, the mixing bowls and the measuring cup um, you know, the, the glass jars for flour and sugar and things like that. Um, these are some of our best sellers and I just kind of wanted to um, showcase them. Um, also on this side, we always, this size wreath is just so um, usable and so I have a lot of them this year because um, they're easy, you know, especially um, to tie on a back of a chair or um, use them just on a, like a powder room door or things like that or with a candle in the center on a platter. Um, so I have a lot of those around the store. Um, these ones I loved just with some red mixed in and the pine cones. Um, the evergreen pattern is also mixed in here for Mackenzie. Um, loving that. The platter I would say and the teapot are probably our best sellers with this um, as, as far as gifts. Um, over here we have our cute little Santa, our box with Santa. And around also in this room is um, one of my favorites things is I love snow globes and this snow globe was so, so stinking cute this year and I will spin it around and he kind of just spins around in there and I just think he's so magical so um that is what is in this room um over on this side we have some of our candlesticks and candles and all the things that you need to um, dress up your Christmas table um over on this side some of um we did a whole shelf here of all of our vases and um, also a super, super popular gift. People ask us a lot, like what are the, the most popular um, gifts for Mackenzie Childs? And I would say probably the two quart tea kettle is, is probably our number one seller. Um, let's see, that's the, this is the two quart right over here. The smaller size um, and also comes in the larger size. Um, and what I would say about them is if you're going to display it on your, on your stove, the larger size is such a statement. Um, but if you're going to use it every day, that smaller size is just a little easier to pour. Um, but both are so beautiful. Um, and I would say that a vase is really, really popular as well. So those are all over here. Um, the cookware over here, and we're also showing it in the flower market. 
Um, these are great to cook on. I love to cook. And I will tell you that they perform like an all clad. Like they're awesome to work with. They clean up really well. And what I love about them is that they're beautiful. So if you're cooking in them, you can transfer it easily to servant as well. So anyways, that is this room. And this is our Corley check room. So we will see you for the next installment and we'll show you um, the jewelry room. Thanks. Bye.